Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sharmin. Today I'm going to talk about electrophoresis of DNA. So let's get started. DNA fragments carry a small charge to the negative charged phosphate group. So in DNA electrophoresis, these fragments uh, move from the gel towards the anode and the smaller the fragments, the faster they move. We'll look at an annex and use the genetic profiling, fingerprinting or forensic science. Okay, so you can see at the diagram. Uh, region of DNA that is known to uh, vary, uh, vary between people is chosen. This region often contain variable number of repeated DNA sequence and are known as variable numbers and uh, uh, repeats only only identical twin share all these B and T R sequence okay DNA can be extracted from almost anything that has come from a person's body the root of a hair a tiny spot of blood or a semen at a crime scene and or saliva while someone has drunk for uh, drunk from a cup so usually the quantity of DNA is increased by using the DNA is then chopped into places using a restriction enzyme so the polymerase change reaction which uh, makes many copies of the dna that has been found okay so visible straight away to make the fragment visible they are uh, carefully transferred into the uh, absorbent paper which is placed on top of the gel so the paper is then heated just enough to the make the two strands in the in each dna molecule separate from one another okay so you can see here the diagram uh, you can practice some diagram that can help you and short sequence of single stranded dna called proofs are added and they have base sequence complementary to the b and t r regions the proofs also contain a radioactive phosphorus uh, isotope so when the paper is placed on an x-ray radiation emitted by the proofs make the film and go dark so we end up with a pattern of dark stripes on the film uh, and matching the positions that the dna fragments reached on the agro uh, agarose gel so alternatively the proofs may be labeled with a fluorescent straight shown up when ultraviolet light is shown shown onto them so guys i hope that's all thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe you just click here and if you need more class go to my website www.adoventurebiology.simplesite.com there is a lots of biology video and you can go there and take a level test and you see what's the level of biology you have and that's all thank you very much